Hello everyone. We will continue the case study for sales order report. And in the previous video, we created the include programs for the data declaration and selection screen part. We created the transaction code for our program. Now we will handle this particular part. If I am giving a wrong input to the program and there is no data present for that input, I need to give a information message to the customer that no data found for the given inputs. Suppose simple example. If I will go to the program, suppose I am giving that date, suppose 23rd October to suppose I am saying 30th October. I am giving a wrong date. Whenever I am giving a wrong date, I am clicking on to now execute button. Have you seen? There is no data present in that table from 23rd October to 30th October. If I will go to VBAK table and show you, there will be zero records in that table for this particular date combination. If I will go to 23rd October to 30th October, you can see number of entries are zero. So it means user should get a message, customer should get a message that no data found for the given input. Whenever we are executing, as of now, we are getting a blank ALB that has no significance for the customer at all. Yes, the customer should get a information message and we will handle this particular part. Now I will go to the program. Now we have written the logic in our program into the class method or in the function module. If you see, we have written the logic. If I will go to the program, we have written the logic in the class method or in the function module. So what we will do? I will write the logic for the message handling part. Firstly, I will write in the function module. Then we will do in the class method also. Because our logic is not in the program. Our logic is in the function module or class method. Suppose, as of now, I will comment this class method and I will go to function module. Then I will come to class method also. I am double clicking on the function module. Suppose from the program, you gave the wrong input of the creation date. That wrong input will go inside the function module. If we are giving wrong input, this query will be failed at that point of time. There will not be any record from this particular query. Psi sub RC will be other than zero or we can understand in a way this internal table will be initial, initial. Initial means there are zero records in the internal table. Here, we have a if condition if internal table is not initial. This is a successful. If this query is successfully executed, internal table is not initial. If this query is not executed successfully, internal table will be initial. So ultimately control will go to which part else part. So I will simply, simply go to else part. Now, now we all know in every function module, there is a exception tab. If 
we are going for wrong input if we are going for wrong input this internal table will be initial and system will go to else part and we will raise the exception how to raise the exception firstly i will give the exception name suppose name of the exception is wrong underscore input wrong underscore input i will give the short description suppose i am saying wrong input now i will go to source code source code now how to raise the exception raise and what is the name of the exception wrong underscore input i will check the syntax of the function module and i will activate this part so whenever we will give the wrong input this particular exception will be raised we all know very very well whenever something is raised it should be handled also if we will not handle system will throw runtime error as of now we raised but we have not handled so where we will handle we will handle in the program now now as of now have you seen we have exporting importing we took one exception in the function module but that is not here as of now because we added it later to the function module so but the best way i suggest to everyone call from the pattern again but if you are comfortable in manually writing also no problem suppose if you are comfortable in writing the exceptions part manually it is totally your wish but at that time the chances of mistakes will be more so what you can do in that is call from the pattern again suppose if i will go to pattern and i will give the name of the function module zfm underscore sales ord you can see the exceptions automatically came and what is the exception we gave wrong underscore input just copy this part that is the best way the chances of mistake will be very less i will call again now i will simply simply cut this or i will just simply copy this part paste here copy this part paste here we will uncomment id underscore find now i will simply remove this part because now we have exception also and you can see what is the exception number because we have exception so function module will end here it will not end here now we did the handling we simply simply did the handling we had put exception in the program now have you seen the exception number starts with one so wrong underscore input what is the number of wrong underscore input one we all know size sub bar c0 is for successful if after that any error or something is there so exception number always always starts with one and for the others exception number is two suppose we have one more exception then in that case that exception has number two and others exception number will be three now if we are giving wrong input this particular exception will be raised when this particular exception will be raised what is the exception number exception number is one it means size sub bar c will be what size sub bar c will be other than zero 
Now I will simply, simply give a message here. Now we, we will never, never hard code the message. We will always, always use message class to give the message. It is mentioned in the best practice also. We will always, always use the message class to give the message. So what is the transaction code for message class? SC91. I will create a new message class because it is our new case study itself, new project itself. Suppose I will just check the naming convention for this project. But the naming convention for message class? Message class. ZMSG underscore relevant A. So I will write ZMSG underscore sales. I will go for create. I will give the short description. Suppose I am saying message class for sales. I will go to messages tab. I will save into package, write transport request. And now we will give a message. What is the message we need to give? No data found for given inputs. I will write no data found for given inputs. We'll go for save. How we will use the message in the message class? I will say I, how I will use the message in the program. Sorry. I need to use in the program. The keyword is message message. If you see, we need to give which type of message we need to give information message. This is information message. So I will give I. We all know for information message, the one word, one word is, the one word, word is I, I. For error, it is E. For information, it is I. For success, it is S. The one letter for the information. And what is the number? Zero, zero, zero. We all know every message uh, has a message number of three characters, three. Message number is always three characters long. And in the bracket, I gave the name of the message class. I will check the syntax and I will activate. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we are handling the, we are handling the part if we are giving the wrong input, user should get a message that no data present for the given inputs. So firstly, we are going in the function module because our logic is in the function module. So in the function module, if we are giving a wrong input, we are raising one exception from the function module. We simply declare the exception in the exception tab. If the exception is raised, yes, psi sub rc will be other than zero. And we are giving this particular message. We created the message class through SC91 transaction code. We provided the message into the message class and we use the message into the program using the keyword message, message type, type means I, E, S. Then we gave the message number and in the bracket, we gave the message class. In the next video, same to same thing we'll do in the class method. Then we will check the output. So that's it in this video. Thank you.